Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQLPL SQL developers. So from video number 29, we are seeing about the exception related question. As the continuation of that, in this video we will see about what should be your answer for the question, what is pragma exception underscore in it. So in the previous video, we have seen about the different types of exception like a predefined exception and the user defined exception. And in the predefined exception, we have two more subcategories like named exception and unnamed exception. Since this unnamed exception doesn't have a name, we will not be able to handle with a particular name because this exception doesn't have a name. So in case if there is any unnamed exception you want to handle, by default we'll use the others uh, exception class only. But suppose if you want to handle one particular unnamed exception separately, then uh, you need to distinguish between the others and, the, and this particular exception. Let us uh, understand better with an example. So here is a simple uh, PLSQL block where I am trying to insert a, a quite a huge value of employee number into the employee table. So the employee uh, number column is actually defined for uh, four characters only, whereas I am trying to insert a quite a, a larger value. So this will obviously throw an error called uh, value larger than the uh, precision allowed for this column. This particular exception doesn't have a name. Since this doesn't have a name, we will not be able to handle uh, with, with a named exception code or something. So we will go ahead with the default others class. So whenever this insert stale, automatically the control will go for the exception handling. Since I'm using that when others, it will automatically come here. Then the program will get executed and get uh, gracefully terminated. But if you want to handle this with a name or if you want to handle this separately, then there is an option available in PLSQL to provide a name for an unnamed exception. To give a name for an unnamed exception, we will be using the pragma ex exception in it. So from interview point of view, you have to highlight this point saying that you will be able to associate a uh, name for an unnamed exception. We'll see how to associate this uh, a name for this particular unnamed exception. So I'm taking the same block. So what you need to do is first you need to define a variable of exception type. So this is going to be the name. Then for this particular name, we need to associate the error number. In this case, this particular name I am associating with this error number that is 01438 that I am specifying here. So this pragma exception in it basically will associate the name to a particular unnamed exception. So once you have associated a name to an unnamed exception from this point, you will be able to handle this particular unnamed exception as if it is a named exception. So instead of uh, using the others category, now you can handle using a quite uh, similar to a named category. So whenever this insert fail with this particular unnamed exception, the control will get automatically transferred to this place instead of exception when others. In case if you handle with this named exception, the control will come here. Otherwise, if you have not handled with this particular name, it will automatically go to the exception others class. In case if there is no exception handling, then this particular exception will be thrown back to the caller. So from interview point, basically we are using an exception in it to associate a name to a unnamed exception. So in this exception init function, we need to provide two information. That is a variable of exception type that is going to be the name and the SQL code that is Oracle error number to which you want to associate this particular name. I hope it is clear now. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical questions and concept video. If you have any questions, you can share in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. If you want any questions to be addressed as part of this video series, you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.